Hello, everybody. Thanks for jumping into the Scholar Alley booth here at the virtual PAC Expo. Uh, I apologize, this presentation was originally scheduled to be a live presentation, but uh, technical difficulties within the PMMI app um, forced us to tape this. So thanks for watching on demand. I appreciate it. I am Paul Kamholtz. I'm the Vice President of Sales and Marketing for Handheld Products here at Scholar Alley Bear in North America. And we do appreciate you jumping in. So Schuller Alley Bear has uh, been around for the better part of 62 years. And our first product was a full depth beer crate uh, that we had in Europe uh, for those beer bottles that went back and forth between the pubs and the stores and then back to the brewery were washed, refilled and sent back out. Um, we've evolved since then and we've made some acquisitions and we've been acquired. And Currently, uh, Brookfield Business Partners owns a 75% stake in Scholar Alley Bear. Um, we are recognized as uh, either number one or number two in all of the markets that we employ uh, throughout the world. Uh, the exception being North America, where we're in our infancy, I'd say. Uh, we came here a little more than a decade ago uh, on the coattails of a great customer, IFCO, and manufacturing their uh, returnable produce crates. Uh, we continue to do that for them today, and we're very proud to be a partner of theirs. So the other key markets that that Scholar Alley Bear focuses on here, especially you know, throughout the world, but also here in, in North America, uh, automated fulfillment. And we'll talk a lot about that today. Uh, that has all moved for, forward um, with the pandemic. Um, and the changes in customer buying habits. And uh, fortunately, Scholar Alibear is well positioned to satisfy needs for both macro fulfillment, micro fulfillment, um, the last mile, uh, ambient totes, chill totes. Um, we're a full service total solution provider. Uh, we talked already about the uh, beverage crates. Uh, there you see some of our full depth beer crates. Uh, we work in a variety of arenas in both food and food processing. Um, retail, that's uh, a tote there that we manufacture for the likes of IFCO. Um, automotive, uh, primarily in Europe and abroad, uh, we are fortunate enough to have business with all of the major automotive manufacturers and their suppliers um, with some of our large big box industrial bulk containers. Um, we also work with the pooling companies like IFCO and CHEP and others. Uh, supplying everything from handheld to bulk containers. Uh, in industrial manufacturing, you name it, we make it. Everything from pails to handhelds to, to dollies to, to large bulk containers, um, we make all of it. And the other area that we play in is the agriculture market uh, with our field bins, our handheld crates, trays, and whatnot. So for all of those 60 years, Scholar Alley Bear's mission has been to make plastic packaging way too good to waste. We like to focus on those spaces where we can eliminate the single use paper packaging that has become more and more prevalent these days um, and, and replace it with something that's reusable, that is intelligently designed and manufactured um, so that it can endure a long life cycle um, and solve all the issues that are challenging when it comes to to distribution and reverse logistics. So the pandemic has really taken projects that were probably on a three to five year horizon for a lot of companies and moved them to an 18 month or 12 month horizon. Um, everything has moved faster because the consumer's habits have changed. Consumers want to be safe. Um, they still want their products now, and they have a lot more confidence in the ability of these manufacturers to deliver um, these products. You don't have to worry about giving your credit card and whether or not it's going to show up and you're going to get ripped off. There's a strong trust factor now. So what is it about this that's, that's really changed? Well, the pandemic there are many consumers that just don't feel safe walking into grocery stores, for example. And so they have started purchasing groceries online and they'll drive up to the curb, pick up their product and go. I have friends that are in their late 80s 
And uh, they signed up with Instacart and are ordering their groceries online now and having it delivered. So this is touching all generations and the consumer, broad consumer is making changes to their habits. Um, I will tell you that in my 20 years experience, um, the last mile has always been a challenge. How do you get product? How do you keep it chilled and get it to the consumer? And how do you get that tote that delivered it back and not lose that asset? Well, <clears throat> it's my belief in, in talking to uh, industry leaders that um, there is more uh, acceptance of this by the consumer. They're willing to set aside a returnable tote and get the asset back to the manufacturer or to the grocery chain. Um, it allows the consumers to be socially distant and feel safe and comfortable. And they're okay with, with getting a returnable package back because they know it's right for the environment. So I'm going to switch over and show you guys a video now. It's uh, one of the great commercials that Walmart put together. And we're very fortunate that our blue Maxi Nest totes for uh, online grocery pickup are actually proudly featured. Hope you enjoy that as much as I do. I think it's a great commercial and gives you a little bit of uh, insights into how the the shopper has evolved, um, and it's all been fast forwarded because of the pandemic. <clears throat> so, in our estimation today, and this is before the pandemic, 165 billion packages are shipped just in the United States each year, and that equates to a billion one B with a, a billion with a B trees. Um, frankly. These online retailers like Amazon and Walmart and the others need to find a solution. And I know they're actively working towards a solution for both ambient and chilled or frozen products. Um, really, what Scholar Alley Bear is proud to do is to actually listen to our customers, bring the ideas that we've learned. We certainly don't know it all, but we have some experience that we can add value. We collaborate with our customers. And in the end, we design smart products that work. And these products are consistent. So it's not just the design that has to be intelligent, but they have to be manufactured consistently. And as we'll talk about with some of the trends in automation, um, these things have to be precise. Every one of them has to be precise or it's gonna cause a snag in the system. So what are some of the products where we help? Well, you just saw the Maxi Nest in that commercial. And our Maxi Nest has been a proven solution for grocery for many, many years. Um, it's designed to do the simple things like be able to put a gallon of milk standing straight up inside the tote, flip the bale arms, and then stack another tote on top of it without crushing the milk below. It's designed to have dividers so you can segregate certain products. It's designed to nest when empty so that it takes a little tiny piece of space in that very tight back room so that they can store these and use them when needed. In a similar fashion, we've designed our Clever Move Box or our pre-log. This tote is also very robust and it's working today in metro markets. Um, it replaced corrugated one-way box. And the beauty of this is it's very strong, it's very user-friendly, and when the product is emptied out, it can be collapsed down and stored underneath a metro rack. With the customers that are buying this from us today, they've been able to free up space in their back room because this takes such little space. The beauty of this Clever Move Box also is it comes in a, a couple of different footprints, 
but all of those footprints when stacked and erected will interlock with each other. So it makes a very secure pallet load when moving it around. Um, same applies when it's collapsed, it interlocks and it's also a very stable pallet load. Very smart design. The automation space is evolving and um, you know many of the distribution centers that uh, that were around 20 years ago have evolved from racks with with pallets and, and forklifts driving around to now having grids and robots and totes and uh, we're fortunate enough to uh, have a good portion of that business uh, with creative solutions that you can rely on that are consistently designed and manufactured um, so we'll touch a little bit about that um, E-commerce, these are some of what we call our, our system integrator totes, our SASE, silent automation. And we say silent because one of the things that we learned from our customers was it was very important to design a tote that was as quiet as it could possibly be when it's moving down a conveyor belt. Um, it took some, some creativity in the design, but we believe we have the quietest totes on the market. And it does make a big deal when you're in that warehouse for, for eight hours a day every day. Shoulder Alley Bear is, really is a solution provider. And so because this is all fast forwarded, if you need help and in understanding into what it will take to not only set up the logistics to get it going, but also the reverse logistics to get your, your, your returnable packaging back um, to wash your totes, we can help with all of it. We can actually do it or we can facilitate it or we can point you towards the right people. We have a strong network of, of uh, partners and really smart folks internally that can help solve these problems. So we briefly touched on the sustainability piece of this, and, and this will quantify it for you. Um, Scholar Alley Bear is proud to provide a directional analysis of greenhouse gas impact, right? What are your what are the emissions emissions associated with a one-way corrugated container versus a returnable plastic container? And on the left, you can see that is a uh, one way corrugated box and it basically takes the life cycle of that box from when it was a tree to when it was cut down, pulped, put into a into paper, put into the corrugated box, shipped to the manufacturer who will then fill it and then ship to the end user. That's what that left uh, bar graph represents. On the right, we've taken the same life cycle. So from harvesting the ethane out of the ground to turning it into plastic pellets, to melting those pellets in an injection molding machine and creating the package, to delivering that package to the manufacturer. And then the back and forth that will go on for years uh, because it's a returnable package. And as you can see, we're looking at, you know, close to a four to one ratio um, of reduced greenhouse gas emissions associated with the returnable package. This is very important. And again, this is more directional and we encourage all of our customers to do their own analysis. Um, our hope and our experience is when customers do their own analysis, the impact is even greater. So again, Shoulder Alley Bear is a total solution provider. Uh, we can do everything from the design, the manufacture, the fulfillment, sortation, we can, we can help deliver it, we can wash it, um, we can get them back. So we can do everything or we can help you get to that point where you can do it or work with partners that you feel comfortable with. In the end, uh, we're very proud of who we are and who we've become over the last 62 years. And I'm hoping sometime in the near future that we can partner up and collaborate and together we can make plastic packaging too good to waste. Again, I apologize this had to be a tape session. I wish it was live. I wish I only had to do it once. Um, but if you have any questions uh, or you have any inquiries, uh, uh, projects, please reach out to me at paul.camholtz at And with that, I thank you. Appreciate you coming by and we will talk to you soon.